Paying vendors using the Transacts QuickBooks module is extremely easy. First, go to the Customers menu, select Neelix Transacts, Pay Bills by ACH. You'll select the vendor that you'd like to pay. In this case, I have previously paid this vendor in the past, so I have the option to repay that vendor with the information on file. I can choose the bill that I would like to pay. I'm going to choose my first one here. It will auto-populate the amount for you. You do have the ability to change this if you'd like to make a partial payment or an overpayment. If you don't want to use the billing information on file, you would uncheck this box and you can enter the routing number and account number of the bank account you will be sending the money to. The name on the account, the account holder type, which is personal or business, the account type, checking or savings, and the SEC code, which is the manner that the transaction was collected. If you want to store or update the payment information for this vendor on file, stored in the secure PCI compliant Transax gateway, you can check this box in the lower left hand corner. Additionally, you can update the vendor address, phone number, email address. If you update this information and would like to update the vendor record in QuickBooks as well, simply click the checkbox at the top that says update vendor record and the information in QuickBooks will be updated also. I'm going to go ahead and process this transaction. It was success. I'll click OK here. In addition to processing a single bill payment, you can also pay bills in a batch. When processing a batch, it will loop through your bills in QuickBooks and pull any bill for which the vendor has payment information on file and the bill has an outstanding balance. Here we see we have three open bills for vendors that we have payment information on file. I can filter these bills based on due date or the bill date. I can also check or uncheck any of these if I want to skip them. I can change the amount by clicking on that amount and typing in the amount I'd like to pay if I'd like to do a partial or an overpayment. You can sort by any of these columns as well. And once you've selected the bills you'd like to pay, simply click Pay Bills. The system will loop through your bills and pay each one of them. You'll see a little status there. And at the end, we see we have three successes. There is a batch report that is available as well. This is keyed on the date and the time. If you select the batch, it will show you key information about all of the payments. It also shows you a total amount at the bottom. We process $90 in this scenario. All of the payments are recorded as well in your check register. And here's an example of a check with the transaction ID recorded as the check number and also relevant information recorded in the memo field. Paying bills is extremely easy. It requires a Transax Gateway account as well as an ACH processing account. For more information, visit www.neelixtransax.com. Thank you very much.